Hello everyone and welcome back, this is Sleepless Ninja and today I'm going to show you how to install Clockwork Recovery Mod when your zoom is not rooted. Now the significance of this installation is when you're trying to root your zoom um, one, of, one of the easiest ways is to install this rooted kernel through the Clockwork um, Mod Recovery and in able to do that you need to kind of do a special install of the Clockwork and right when start up, um, press a special button so you boot up clockwork instead of having the um, stock recovery boot up in a race over clockwork. So if that sounds like a little too much, I'll just get into it. We'll take it step by step and I'll show you how to work it. So first thing you need, you need your computer and then you need your zoom. And then you need a cable and then you need to download the clockwork recovery mod, um, the latest one. I'm going to provide a link. Um, this link also has installation instructions. They're basically the same thing without the little, without the actual thing that this zoom is not rooted. So what happens if it's not rooted is the stock recovery will overwrite the one that you just installed. So you have to do a little special um, boot because of that to get Clockwork um, running. Now. Um, once you download that file, you're going to want to put it into your Android SDK platform tools folder. Um, so please, um, if you do not know about the ADB and the Fastboot, check out my general routing guide on installing the Android SDK. Um, now basically you can use this on Windows and PC. Right now I'm just moving to my Android folder, um, going into the Android SDK and then going into platform tools. And you can see here I have my um, recovery time at um, clockwork image and that is the one I'm going to put on my zoom. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to do with my zoom on, I'm going to plug it in and then plug it into my computer. Okay, now the only thing that you need to make sure before going on is that when you plug it in that USB debugging connected is on. If not, make sure you go to application and then when you're in application um, go to development and then make sure USB debugging is checked. You'll get this little blinker down here. This enables us to communicate from the computer to the Zoom. Okay? So now that your Zoom's plugged in, the debugging's enabled, we're going to go back to the terminal. We're going to be in platform tools like I've navigated. We're going to make sure we have the recovery time at file um, there and then what we're going to do is we're going to do dot forward slash or if you have it in the path which means you know what I'm talking about when I say that you don't need to do dot forward slash but um, and then specify where the file is but here we're going to make it I'm going to make it very simple with that file in here and and within the platform tools folder all you need to do is dot forward slash adb reboot adb is this file you're basically saying to run it by saying dot forward slash reboot is a command in adb and then bootloader is just another specification um, for what you're doing when you type this command in you might get this device not found this happens sometimes just unplug the usb from your computer plug it back in and um, retype the command if that doesn't happen, then try again. Sometimes you have to disconnect it both from the Zoom and the computer. It's, it's silly, but it actually works. And what's going to happen is your Zoom's going to turn off and then reboot. You'll see the dual core and then you'll see starting fast boot protocol support. Okay? Now, that means it's ready for the next command when you see that up on the top left screen. So what you want to do is you want to type in fastboot, which again is another executable. You can see I have the fastboot.mac um, version, so that's what I have to type in. Dot forward slash fastboot slash mac. And again, like I said before, I have a general routing guide. Check that video out on my website. And then once you type in the flash boot, um, the fast boot, you want to type in flash recovery and then the name of the recovery image. Now you see this is that long name. Instead of typing that out, all I'm going to do is highlight it 
copy, and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay? And you can see that long image is pasted there. And all I'm going to do is press enter. And you'll see it's sending a couple things. It's writing the recovery. And on the zoom, you'll notice it had a couple things. And then um, you can see here, now this is an error. Failed to process command error. Battery too low. So if you get that, you actually have to wait. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait, and then we'll send this command again. Okay, so we now have full charge, and let's uh, try installing the recovery again. You can see it's writing. And then here on the screen now you'll see status done. Okay, so the next step is really important. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to enter in the command fastboot reboot and for of course the Mac users it's going to be fastboot dash Mac reboot again what we're doing is we're calling our fastboot command so do the dot forward slash and then the fastboot file that you're calling mine is the Mac and then you want to do the command within this file which is the reboot this is going to reboot your Motorola now there's something you need to do when this dual core screen after the reboot appears you're going to want to wait three seconds three seconds and then press volume down okay now if you press volume down too soon it will say starting fastboot protocol support you you started this up the, the, pro, the fastboot um, which means you press it too soon. So what you want to do then is press volume up and then the power button to restart and then retry. If you press it too late, what's going to happen is you're, what you, just, you just flashed the recovery. Clockwork recovery. If you do it too late, what's going to happen is that recovery is going to be overwritten by the stock one on your Zoom. This is because it's not rooted. So what happens is the stock is going to overwrite it and then that means you have to uh, redo this process of installing which isn't that big of a deal but what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this out we're gonna try and wait count three seconds once it reboots and uh, hopefully we get it and it's just volume down so you can see flashes there it goes one two three volume down and you can see Android recovery appears on the top. So basically now that we have this Android recovery we want to select it by pressing volume up. So that's all you have to do. Press volume up and then it will enter a recovery mode. And what we should see is this. And I'll zoom out so you can see it fully. If your recovery does not look like this, it doesn't have if it has more of that box Android um, looking guy um, in the middle and it has like a warning symbol on his chest, that means the clockwork um, mod recovery did not load. And then another sh sure sound way is to look up here. If it doesn't say clockwork mod recovery, if it just says recovery, then the stock one overwrote the clockwork and you're just going to have to retry. So now that you're here, um, you're going to want to install whatever you want. Um, most people are going to be following this guide to install a custom image that has the root and so you're going to be using this to unroot. I'm going to separate everything into partitions so you can piece together which parts you want instead of having this long drawn out um, video. Um, everything's going to be isolated so you can pick the pieces of what you want. And uh, I, I think this will work out for the best. So um, for the next video um, we'll be installing um, the clockwork uh, mod recovery uh, uh, unroot basically we're gonna unroot our device using this I hope this was helpful and um, please like if you did think it was useful um, and if you have any other suggestions um, please let me know I'm attaching the actual link for this clockwork mod recovery this thread will give you the most updated version remember there is a 4.0 this is not the one supported for the zoom this is a special one for the Zoom that works with the SD card. So bear that in mind. Pay attention to this thread when it talks about an update 
Don't use other applications that say you don't have the up-to-date version. They are wrong. If you pay attention to this thread that I have in the attached with this video, you'll be all set. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.